Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as we go through a build of an update to this slowly foam board RC airplane. I'll take you step by step how to do it. A very nice three channel foam board slow flyer airplane. Let's get to it. As a reminder, there are chapters in the timeline if you'd like to go down there to jump to a, another section of the video. This is a slowly, or actually a slowly too, it's the second build I did of this airplane. It's a design by a gentleman in Germany. There's a full set of plans and a build thread on RC groups. I'll put a link up here to my first build of the slowly, and you can see the complete um, construction of how we did that. For the initial one, this is what's left of the fuselage, and it was a prototype, but what happens, the plans have a two inch wide fuselage, which is pretty narrow. I don't think it looks all that great. And for sure with the wheels close to the fuselage, it's very tippy on the ground. Ground. So what I did, what I'd like to do is I build a prototype, find the weak areas, areas I'd like to improve, <clears throat> specifically with the battery tray for the CG location, add a pilot and so forth. And I came up with the Swirly 2 right here, you can see, Looking at the nose, the three inch wide fuselage, I, I do think looks a little bit better. Plus I made the landing gear a little bit wider, a little bit more uh, visually attractive. I think that'll be uh, better for takeoff, added a windshield, a few other odds and ends like that. So again, there's a complete link uh, to the first build in the description. You'll see where the plans are. Plans are available. I use foam core. It's a, it's a pretty rigid foam board. You can use whatever you want. And um, this is this is what we came up with. So um, yeah, so this is what we came up with. And so let's go into some more details of the build right now. This is the original Slowly Flyer. There is a link in the description. <clears throat> Very happy the way it flew, just a uh, foam core, foam board flyer. And what I'm gonna do on this video is make a update of this with some improvements that I think will make it look better and just uh, be a little bit more attractive. So the main thing, as I mentioned, we're going to use the original wing, but for the fuselage, you can see the fuselage is fairly narrow. It's two inches wide. <clears throat> what I'm going to do for this next version is make it three inches wide. That'll help with the ground handling. It's a little bit tippy, so I'll be doing that. Same engine, same electronics, same servo, same tail, I believe. Uh, for the landing gear, though, I'm going to make it a little bit more attractive. I'm going to extend it out a little bit, again, for more stability and have a strut going from the fuselage down to that. I think it'll look a little bit better. The other advantage of having it being three inches wide, <clears throat> I can use this pilot that I have for my parts band. It's two and a half inches wide. I think that'll look pretty good uh, inside the fuselage just uh, for attractiveness on that. I intend to put a windshield in front just to have fun with that. Uh, smooth things out a little bit and the other thing that I'll be doing is using acrylic paints to paint it whatever paint scheme I want on this one just to get the prototype flying I use colored packing tape for the de decor decoration of the original slowly as I mentioned I was very happy with how it slowly flew so what I want to do is make some changes in the fuselage but the wing is fine I'm going to keep the wing just as it was in the original I'll take off the tape, and as part of this uh, update, I'll be using acrylic paints to paint it. But the wing will stay just the same. I'll have to put some different ribs here for the wider fuselage, but, but the wing will remain the same. This is a view of the Soli plans. Again, there's a link in the description to the RC groups. You can download, print it out full size with tiling. I'm reusing the wing from the Slowly 1 on this. It's very simple. Just a quick look at the ribs here, the full-size plan below. The center section is flat for the, um, for the wing. I just scored the outer portion of this foam board. Um, it works very good. Go around curve, hot glue to glue the ribs in place. And there's a view of the center section uh, with the two ribs. Again, this is the two inch width for the slowly one. The one I'm building now in this video is a three inch wide fuselage. These are the wing tips for the um, polyhedral on the wing. Again, just uh, with the ribs and you're gonna have to kind of trim to fit. Again, in the video and the link on building slowly one, I go into detail how all this is done using hot glue. 
The electronics are, are very basic, just a motor for about a one to one and a half pound um, model, uh, two servos, a receiver, and there's a slowly one fuselage. That's what the foam core looks like, bought it at Amazon. The fuselage is the same for both uh, one and two. This is a side view, simply trace it out onto the um, foam board. And it's uh, the size I have to glue uh, two halves together for that. And there are the two fuselage sides. The formers are in place. Again, cut openings in there so you can get access uh, for control rods, equipment, whatever is needed. And again, uh, here is the uh, two fuselage halves together and bringing it back towards, and towards the end there. And I'll put some spaces in between to make it a little bit more rigid as we, build, as we continue the build. I put the top um, section in place. This is where the servers will go on top of the fuselage to the tail for the rudder and elevator. Now it's time to start working on the 1 8 inch plywood firewall. Uh, there's the nose. That's the firewall. Again, adjust it for your engine. Cut out for the uh, motor wires as needed. Recommend using bolts on this. I had earlier versions of screws. They just don't hold in place, uh, but that's what the motor looks like. Cut out as needed for the back end of the shaft. Here the motor is in place with the initial gluing of the firewall to the foam sides. There's absolutely no strength just mounted to the foam. We'll put some um, reinforcements to hold everything in place. Here are the 1 8 inch plywood um, reinforcements. We'll put behind and in front of the firewall with 5 minute epoxy. There it is in back, uh, epoxy to the foam, connected to the firewall, and that little triangular one in front. And there everything is in place. I think that'll hold okay with the um, plywood uh, fore and aft of the, of the firewall. Start working on the landing gear. Again, 1 8 inch plywood for that on the base. We just uh, use some fairly strong music wire, a little bit wider stance of the fuselage and some plywood to keep that all strengthened and buttressed in place. And finally, here is the nose section coming along with the firewall and landing gear. Making good progress on the Slowly 2. That's an update of the original Slowly. The link, of course, is in the description. And what I did for this one is the Slowly 1 was a great little flyer. Here it is right here. <clears throat> and you learn a lot by building these initial prototypes. You can incorporate changes and improvements on the next one. And one of the things was the fuselage was just a little bit narrow at two inches wide. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, I'm making the second version three inches wide. Also, the landing gear was just very close. That two inch fuselage was kind of tippy. Um, so I decided on this slowly to update, <clears throat> I made it three inches wide. You can see that here. And I have an extended landing gear with a much more robust main axle. This uh, bracing strut is more decorative than anything else. And then the tires here. So a little bit of weight with this, but I think it'll look pretty good. It'll certainly, certainly be much more stable on the landings and take, take offs and uh, take offs. Still have to do the tail surfaces, the um, 1 8 inch firewall, 1 8 inch plywood firewall is in place, that should be fine. And I think the deck that goes over the top here, I'm going to, I'm going to fix in place the um, original, I had an opening. I don't have to do that because I can access everything through the hole of the fuselage. So this is the progress so far. I think it's coming along pretty nice. And of course the intent is to paint this properly with acrylic paint when it's all done. So continuing with the uh, landing gear, I put this top landing gear for appearance as much as anything else. It doesn't really add too much to the strength. Again, the wing from the Slowly 1 is in place. I have to add a few more ribs because it is a little bit wider. Here are some plywood, 1 16th inch ply reinforcements for the wing dowels. And then they are epoxied in place, just a little bit more strength for the wing dowels in, with the foam. And I'm uh, putting in the belly pan there, again, scored to curve around. Uh, just make sure that you have enough clearance with the prop and that. This is pretty close right here. And there the motor is with the prop and we have enough clearance. That's the back of the cowl. We'll now cut the cowl and score it so we can um, bend it around. You'll have to trim it, and trim it as needed to go into place. And then it's just hot glue. Uh, you glue it to the front and to the back. 
we're making good progress on this slowly. So yesterday I put on this uh, top cowling cover and glued it in place. It's not removable. <clears throat> There's really no need to have access in here. You can get it through the um, through the fuselage, and most of the equipment is located about here for center gravity. This is the front view. I'm going to put in the covering in front here. You can see some plywood reinforcement for the wing hold down bolts as well as for the landing gear. That whole plywood assembly is underneath this foam right here for the landing gear. I think that should work out okay. So it's in good shape. I'm very happy so far. What I need to do, obviously, are the tail services, some of the trays for the equipment, and we'll be pretty darn close, ready for flight. I think I'll, I usually put a little bit of a cross braces here just to give it a little bit more rigidity in the back. A view the front of the airplane and we'll put in a little spacer there for the cowl to close that up. And there that is put into place. Again, front through the landing gear. And I had a pilot spare, just put a little shelf on there and that fits in right along there. These are the hot glue hinges. I just use um, uh, painter's masking tape uh, to build little squares. And in there we'll take hot glue when it's hot and just smear it inside those rectangles to create hinges. It dries pretty quickly. We take off the blue tape and there are the hot glue hinges. Note that you're gonna to have to bevel the control surface that you can go down, uh, full uh, display down. And that's a pretty easy way to make uh, hinges or something like this using hot glue. The horizontal stab and elevator are in place. And here's a rudder, slowly one on the right, slowly two on the left, and everything glued into place. The servos are on the top here. Try to keep them a little bit forward for center of gravity. We're done really with all the building on the fuselage of the Slowly 2. So here it is here. The servos for the elevator and rudder located on top. A little tray in the bottom for the battery so we adjust for the center of gravity. I hot glued the receiver onto the side so that is out of the way. The cowl is glued on top. The um, wing hold down dowels, the bottom, I think it's all set. It weighs about, about 12 ounces, so I think that will be okay. And one thing I'm going to try to do, just an experiment, is with all these openings where I curved the foam, I'm going to try to put some uh, vinyl spackling on there just to see how that works out on the foam. So that'll be the next step. So we'll put on the, uh, the spackle, see how that works, set it down. And then the next step will be to paint it and then we'll be able to take it for a test flight. So just experimenting using some spackle to fill in the um, gaps with this uh, curved cowl and just see how that works. Just got it off of um, Amazon, just some vinyl spackling, spackling and just put it into place. Does add a little bit of weight, so I'm conscious of that, but we'll put it in there, see how it works. And you carefully sand it down and you get a pretty good result there. A little bit more sanding, it'll be finished and we'll accept the paint well. For the wing, we did the cent I did the center section again just to keep an eye on weight to see how that works. Time for the paint scheme. This is a picture I got off the internet of a lazy bee. And so we are gonna start with the wing. And what I do, I just pencil in that scallop on the leading edge and just apply normal craft acrylic painting onto the foam and, and it works out pretty good. This is the blue uh, leading edge color. And again, this is the um, just the acrylic paint, nothing special about it at all. I like acrylics, it cleans up easy with water, it just uh, goes on really well. And there's the wing with both colors. Now we're applying paint to the fuselage, uh, the blue obviously starting off there. And then the finished fuselage with the tail uh, surface is installed. And here the finished aircraft is. We're just about ready to go out to the field. It looks like it balances out. Uh, good clearance on the prop to the front. Wing in place with rubber bands. And I um, think everything's in set to take it out to the field. So the build is complete of the Slowly 2. I'm happy with everything. I think it came out well. I enjoyed working with the spackle on the nose cowl. I think that uh, has some potential in it. Um, put on the um, acrylic paint. So we're all set to take it to, oh, by the way, the center gravity is about an inch and a half back from the leading edge. And so um, that's a good good location for that. Very easy to adjust the center gravity by shifting the battery location because there's a long nose moment um, on the airplane. So I think we're all set for waiting for a good day at the field. 
We'll take it out to the RC field for test flight. What I'll do next real quick, I'll take off the wing, make it a little bit easier. I'll show you the control throw, just the fact the engine works, and then the next stop is the RC field. We have the airplane uh, uh, connected to a battery. We'll do the test with a two cell. I think I'm gonna fly it with a three cell. I will try it with a two cell. Make sure it's the right center of gravity. See if that is sufficient power for this. Trusty DX6 uh, transmitter, so elevator. Three play, the rudder is like that. Notice there are no um, guides for the control rods back here. It's a fairly short uh, control run. I picked a little bit thicker wire, so it's just a straight run there. We'll turn off our throttle cut and take a look at the throttle. And I think that will provide plenty of power. So again, the next thing, wait for some good weather, and I'll see you at the RC field. Nice day at the field. Annie finds a little bit of shade. And here is the airplane with the wing and the fuselage. We'll go ahead and use rubber bands to put the wing on in place. Battery, double check of the um, center of gravity. Little walk around of the aircraft. And everything looks uh, pretty, pretty good, ready for our test flights. Just an ideal day. Here's a runway, not too much traffic. And a look at the windsock. That's a good day for flying. So here is a flight. It's actually flight number two. And up and away. It takes off just fine. Plenty of power. I like to keep it low and slow. It's just the way I like to fly. And here are some um, flybys. Just, uh, just feeling out the aircraft, how it works. It's a stable aircraft. It slows right down. Um, turns well. You put in plenty of control throw. You, it's, it's okay to have a lot of control throw on this because when you fly slower, you need more of that control th uh, control throw. But very comfortable if it dips down a little bit, just adds some power, recovers, and here we are coming in for a landing. Overall, super happy with the airplane. It's a quick build, easy to build, it flies fine. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it.